Hey guys, this is Janice B and welcome to my channel. In today's video, um, I will be sharing with you my reactions sa uh, mga katanungan na nare-receive ko recently. It's just a few of them. Like, ano yung reaction ko towards my thumbs down in my daily live stream or in my uploads or sa mga nawawalang subscribers ko or ko konti na lang yung nanonood sa akin or I have few views in my most recent uploads. So all this will be answered by Janice B. So, please watch this video till the end. So, the first question is um, ano yung reaction ko sa mga nagta-thumbs down sa akin sa aking live stream? Sa mga nakakapanood sa akin sa mga live stream ko, I don't really give that much attention sa aking mga thumbs down or thumbs up. I don't really see them. I don't even open my uh, YouTube um, chat uh, during my live stream because I am very focused on the content of my live stream. Uh, pinagahandaan ko lagi ang aking mga live stream. So, maybe sometimes we can't really please everyone. So, the message in my live stream may be not of um, pleasing in their ears. Ganon. So, we can't really please everyone. So, it's okay for me dahil um, isa lang ang ibig sabihin kapag may thumbs down ka, meron kang impact sa kanila. So, whatever you say in your live stream, thus do impact them because they just want to hear what they wanted to hear, right? So, hindi natin ma mabibigyan ng, um, ng justice lahat. So, Yon, uh, it's completely okay for me. Um, if I receive thumbs down or thumbs up, of course, me minsan masasaklan ka talaga. But at the end of the day, what matters the most is uh, they've come and visit your channel, they've checked your content, and um, siguro hindi lang sila interesado sa mga content na meron ka sa iyong live stream. So, that answers my question. Number two question is, um, ano daw yung reaction ko sa mga subscribers na nawala sa akin? As I've said in my previous vlog, it's completely normal. YouTube uh, verifies the accuracy of all the activities of each of my subscribers. So, kapag nawala sila, it's completely okay because it's out of my hands. Hindi ko sila um, mapipigilan ko mag-unsubscribe sila sa akin. But at the end of the day, what matters the most is my channel subscribers is still growing. Kung uh, siguro if um, if I come to think about it, if I analyze my metrics is that may, when I've changed my um, niche into um, YouTube tutorials, maybe some of my viewers who were um, following me in my daily vlogs, they were no longer interested in this kind of content. Or yung uh, demands ng previous uh, subscribers ko, hindi na ganito yung niche na gusto nila. So, uh, when I've changed my niche completely, um, my subscribers obviously will uh, definitely have an impact on that. So, it's completely okay for me and um, okay lang yon kasi ang ibig sabihin lang nun is um, um, uh, if my channel subscriber is still growing, um, I'm not that bothered kung marami rin ang nawawala. But what is important is I'm continue to upload quality videos and I'm continue doing my live stream which um, gives more um, a value to my um, channel. So, that's it. Number three question is that um, ano daw yung reaction ko towards um, kokonti na lang yung nanonood sa akin sa live stream. It's completely okay. Dati pa naman, kokonti lang din. But sometimes, I um, to totally appreciate lahat ng mga pumupunta sa live stream ko because um, kahit kokonti, ang importante, they are organic viewers. I'm not boosting my live stream and I'm doing the right thing during my live stream. So, kahit isa, dalawa, ang importante is you deliver the message because at the end of the day after my live stream if i have a content live stream i made it available sa aking mga members so my members will have more um more content available for them after my live stream so it's completely okay because what matters the most is we deliver the message at uh nagkaroon tayo ng quality instead of having a quantity of audience but at the end of the day um hindi rin um magka count towards um the value uh of uh, value to my um channel so 
the next question is ano yung reaction ko towards a lesser views sa aking mga recent uploads I've tried an, ex an experiment where I didn't share that much to the most number of groups that I normally shared my video meaning nagrely lang talaga ako dun sa notification that I have in in my YouTube channel where the, the, um, the subscribers that press the all notification receive my um my notification that I have an upload. So, doon lang ako nag-rely and it's completely okay because I can see that um, the number of subscribers that I have were really watching my videos. So, sila yung mga active na nanonood ng aking mga videos. So, uh, meaning, um, I totally appreciate each of my viewers. So, kahit ko konti, kahit 10, 20, 30, ganyan, what matters the most is um, some people are still interested in my channel. So, you always um, appreciate even little things that gives value to your channel. At the end of the day, these viewers um, were my fuel towards the success of my channel. So, the last question is that um, bakit araw-araw ako nagla-live stream? Why I have a daily live stream instead of having a long live stream and limited daw yung aking live stream into one and a half hours to two hours a day? Because I always prepared for my live stream. I always have like, um, meron akong outline sa aking daily live stream meaning nakaset na siya into um, a certain kind of um context kung saan um, yun lang talaga yung gusto kong i-discuss. So, I, uh, if the topic is short, so meaning ko konti lang yung time na makoconsume ko to deliver the message, what matters the most is what have you delivered? Kung ano yung naibigay ko sa aking live stream. It's not about the length of time that you've spent in your live stream. What matters the most is kung ano yung naibigay mo sa audience mo. What have you delivered? Um, does it have any content or wala? Yun ang importante sa akin. It's not the length of time that I will be spending with my chatters. What matters the most to me is I have delivered what I have prepared. So, I'm always kind of um, live streamer where I prepared what am I going to discuss in my live stream. So, sa lahat ng mga nag, nag, nagsusubaybay sa akin sa aking daily live stream, I always made sure na lahat ng aking i-deliver sa inyo, lahat ng mga information, eh meron siyang source which I put that in my description box. So, para hindi na kayo mahirapan mag-double check, mag-triple check, the accuracy of information that I deliver in my live stream. So that's the reason why I have a very limited time because I wanted you to read as well what are the guidelines, what are the policies na diniscuss ko sa aking live stream. So I hope that um, that yung answer ko satisfies your question and I think I have a last question. How do I maintain the number of members that I have? I'm very very grateful for um, the 200 plus members that I have this past few months na hindi talaga bumababa doon ang aking mga members and um, they continually to rejoin and I'm gaining more members because I always believe that if you give them value, they will also give back. So, hindi ako nag expect anything in return but ako ay nagbibigay lang kung ano yung kaya kong maibigay. So, God granted me this um, wisdom that I will be able to share this with you. So, I, I also study for me to be able to share it with you. What matters the most for me is as I occupy my place in YouTube in YouTube platform, I give my channel the rightful respect through the achievements that I am um, experiencing right now. So what matters the most for me is the experience that I shared it to my audience. What matters the most to me is the desire of my heart to teach and to share whatever I can. So I hope that I was able to answer some of your questions and if you have any other questions for me, please do comment down below and I will try to answer that in my next video. So I would love to thank my brother La Kuchari Chef Jan. Please do check out his channel. I'll put down the link below because he is one of the channels that uh, of course my brother have been with me through this journey and we will continue to serve you guys. And um, we have an upcoming um, a live radio with Jari Nabalan. Please do check out the channel below as well. Please consider to subscribe to their channel and also guys 
please continue to watch my Janice B diary my personal vlog which I wish I will be sharing with you my personal vlogs in that channel so it's also available in my home screen in my main channel so thank you so much guys for watching and if you like this video please consider to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed as well please consider to subscribe thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll be seeing you in my next one so be brave be you and just be true thank you so much bye